Hi everyone, this is Heather from Grey Steels 19. Uh, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I buy stuff from uh, local thrift stores and from Goodwill, Salvation Army, garage sales and yard sales and I sell them for a profit uh, on eBay and Poshmark. I am currently on those two platforms and um, uh, we just started our YouTube channel a couple weeks back. We have been planning for it for a long time. And uh, we had decided uh, last time to do it every week, but that was not possible. Uh, but here we are, and today Susie is in front of the camera with me. And uh, so we are going to show you some items that uh, I purchased at the thrift stores and some items that she has from her own uh, business and uh, so Susie will tell you a little about herself and then uh, before she does that I just uh, wanted to uh, uh, ask you to like share subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell on our channel and support our channel thank you hi I'm Susie and like Heather said um, I have items that I sell um, a little bit different I don't get them from thrift stores I put on yard sales the inventory that I get is from cleaning out houses I may be hired by real estate or family to clean out a house uh, for moving for selling and I find a lot of items that they want me to sell or they just leave behind and I pick out the goodies and then sell them Okay, so I want to show you my first item that I purchased from a thrift store. Uh, this is a eagle figurine. I'm trying to get it in the camera. So this is brass. Okay, there you go. I'm trying to get it this is a different camera that we are using from the last time so it has some patina and it I am not sure if this is a just a statue or a book and it has this felt and it is it's quite heavy And it is, uh, uh, it is by an artist called Ray Berger. He uh, he's an artist based in Chicago. So that is the item that I have. I have already listed it in my store. Okay. So first item I have is interesting no strings attached anyways it's a ukulele and it's Duke Kaha Namoku it's from the 1950s or 60s and um, it's the fret area actually separates from the ukulele itself so if you refurbish these which somebody bought this from me before on eBay and was going to refurbish it but we couldn't find it in the garage so now I have it back again for some other lucky person. I'm going to sell it for $50. They can go for upwards of a couple of hundred dollars after refurbishing. And um, basically, there's little spots and nicks, a little bit of dirt that a little polishing could probably pick up, um, take up. And otherwise than that, it's in really good condition. You can see these in the back. They turn. And the uh, emblem's a little worn, but still there. And just so the light's not reflecting, there you go. Alrighty. Okay, the second item I have is a clothing item. It is a cardigan. Cardigan sweater. Mm -hmm. It's... It's burgundy color with this black embroidery and 
uh, oh, I'm going in the wrong direction here. Okay, so there is this black embroidery and uh, sequins and beads. long sleeves it has a button here at the top uh, it's a little difficult to open and then it has this tank inside in very good condition long sleeves and it is a size large can't see it very clearly uh, it is acrylic and wool 85% acrylic and 15% wool made in Hong Kong pretty nice nice for Christmas and I have it listed in my store and uh, I forgot to uh, say again that uh, I purchased these uh, things from the thrift store for around uh, less than three dollars um, the the eagle that I showed earlier it was five dollars in a thrift store but uh, normally the clothing items they are three dollars and less at the thrift uh, in the local thrift stores that I have and uh, I have listed this I think I've listed this for either 15 or 18 dollars plus shipping okay so I can't tell you the price of anything that I have here because nothing costs me anything, <laughs> which is great profit. That's My a next good price, item yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is this little piece bear. So anybody familiar with the Grateful Dead would know this is from the era of, you know, the Grateful Dead. It is rare because of a couple of things and mistakes in the spelling. Um, the tag is a little bit worn. I don't know if you can see in this, there's a little bit too much light, so you might not be able to see, but the tag is a little bit worn. These highlights are sort of blowing out the tag. Anyways, it's clear so that you can still see what's on it. Um, the word original is spelled wrong with the two eyes. Um, the surface surface wash is spelled wrong it's spelled suface um, the r is missing so those are two things that are um bring the price up a little bit and um, they come from beanie babies and this one is the piece one this can go upwards it has been sold for four thousand dollars but this little guy is probably going to go for a hundred or less or best offer Basically because the tag's a little worn and not as bright. Colors aren't as bright as most of the ones that do sell for a lot of money. Okay? Alrighty. Okay, the other item that I have is these pumpkin topiaries. They are flat MDF wood. Let me take it behind. So it's a set of two of them in this nice bright orange color freestanding and you can see those little nice cute smiles so that's the real color it's a little bright bright orange uh, so the this one is 13 inches and this one is nine inches they are made of mdf uh, wood or uh, plywood and i purchased these i think i purchased them for uh, three dollars each and i have listed them for thirty dollars in the store just in time for halloween and harvest and fall season Okay, so we're still stuck here on the Grateful Dead. We have some Grateful Dead Beanie Babies. Well, they're more like Beanie Bears, not so much the Beanie Babies. 
I've got three of them still with their tags and names and birth dates on them. So I'm going to sit them right here for a minute. One fell. Too much Grateful Dead. <laughs> so this one here is Crazy Fingers. Crazy Fingers looks more like a skeleton. He's pretty cool. Got a little story here to go with him to tell about him. Crazy Fingers goes for about $25. He's liquid blue brand, and his birthday was August 13th, 1975. And those are important for knowing and collecting these as well. And the tags are still there, and they are still le le legible <laughs> on that one. So here we got Jackaro. This is Jackaro. They're all in very good shape. They've been stored in a garage for a very long time. The woman that I got these from, her daughter was very much into the Grateful Dead and so forth like that, and she used to collect these. So Jackaro, he goes for about $15. His birthday was July 10th, 1989, and there's a cute little story about Jackaro on the back of his tag. And here is Ashbury. Ashbury has a little bit of wear and a little bit of dirt. You might not be able to see it too much. The light's so good it blew it out. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bright. Nice little pattern. Tag very legible. Still comes with the tag. And this one, Ashbury, is actually the oldest of the crowd. March 3rd, mm -hmm. 1968. So she goes for about $35. So, she's any, older than me. <laughs> if you're into the Grateful Dead, you can get these singly or for all $70. They don't have any musty smell from being in the garage. Their fur is pretty clean, maybe a little linty, but all very good shape. Okay. Okay. Uh so now what do I have? I have this, okay, I have a dress, the long black evening dress from Jones, New York. This is a size, uh, this is a petite size, petite 4P. I hope I'll be able to show this, it's a long dress going out of the camera okay here okay there aim to the camera <laughs> okay so this is how it is it's it has this velvet shrug like bust and then it is all the way quite long maxi dress and it is fit and flare. Long sleeves. And it has a zipper, a hidden zipper on the back. And it stretches. So the dresses I get at the uh, thrift store for about uh, anywhere between a uh, dollar and three dollars. And uh, then I have listed this one for $21 uh, in my store already. Uh, the uh, dimensions, the measurements and all, I have listed them in the store. Very pretty dress. Almost like a 1920s style. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks like a vintage style, yeah does okay so I've got a few games here the same woman that I got the bears from we got I got some old games she actually used to play these when she was a kid and as you can see I'm not very good at puzzles so I couldn't put it back together so there's all these little pieces that you can put back together so it fits in this it's called Tower of Babel and I can't mm. tell you how long it took me to look for this and I still couldn't find it to be able to learn how to put it back together or figure out the solution but if you can figure out this in 10 minutes you're a genius 20 you're good 2 hours 
you're still okay, but two days you're babbling. So it's um, made in the USA. It's definitely vintage because she's 80 years old and used to play this game when she was a kid. So there's seven puzzle pieces to it, four solution times, and um, I was going to use it in a yard sale to see if people could could solve it and maybe win one of my items. But I'll probably just end up selling the puzzle itself. And this is actually going to go for about seven dollars. I think most of the newer ones go for about twenty. And this being vintage, maybe worth a little more, so it could go up to about ten dollars. So I'm not it, quite sure yet. Is it like Legos? No, how, it's how? not Legos. It's a puzzle. So you have to put like? these. All right. Here is the box, mm -hmm. and you have to fit these in here, these puzzle pieces in here, some way, so that it's flat, not sticking up oh, like I had it. Okay. So you have to try to match these pieces. It says it's a puzzle of logic. Right. I'm a logical person, but not logical doing puzzles. Enough. Okay. <laughs> I was going to try to do it on here, but I know I won't even do it in 10 minutes. So I'm not going to waste your time. But <laughs> if you like puzzles, this is extremely challenging. <laughs> Maybe it's easier for you, but not for me. <laughs> right. It looks pretty interesting. Okay, so I have uh, I have yet another dress. This haul seems to be more dresses, velvet. <laughs> okay, so this is a sheath dress, a sheath maxi dress. A long dress, again. And this is actually a vintage dress. Uh, so it is made in uh, made in Dominican Republic. It's a size medium and it is by the company dress.com. It has this nice v-neck and long sleeves. Very nice condition. And of course, very it soft. is stretch. Very soft, yeah. <laughs> and it's in good condition. No, uh, no rips, no stains, nothing. And I have listed this for $25 in my store. It is mostly polyester. Uh, let me see what it is. I think it is polyester and yes, it is polyester and spandex. So it has, it does have some stretch in it, size medium. Okay, we're still with the games. Excuse me for the reaching and bouncing out of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> this one here is a heavy one. <laughs> this is a set of dominoes. Let's see if I can do this without the reflection. Yeah. See the train? The name of this, um, there is a name. Beautiful silver aluminum carrying case. Very heavy. 67 beautiful colorful dominoes. All brand new. I don't think this was ever used. You can see the little piece here. There's just instructions with this game. But this piece here, you, your dominoes kind of grow from here. You place your domino here and play as the instructions say. And I didn't read them, so I can't really explain it. And it comes with them. There's also 16 games in here for dominoes. Beautiful, colorful, great shape. Those are green. You've got like some yellow, blue, all in perfect shape. The dominoes are in excellent condition. Then there's little choo choo trains, a little bag of choo choo trains with it. The light's kind of annoying. We'll have to fix mm -hmm. that next time. So there's some sort of game that you can play with this. It's called Mexican Train 
game set. You get um, Cardinals Mexican Train game set. A domino score sheet with it so that you can take score while you're playing. And this beautiful case carries all these dominoes. There's a ton of them. I think you can see the colors, but they're a little yeah. bit washed out. Maybe I can just tone this down a little bit for just this. And you might be able to see the colors a little bit more. There you go. All kinds of colors in there. So again, like I said, I don't really know the game. But um, it, this was very difficult to find on the internet too. There's lots of dominoes, but not Mexican train dominoes. So it must be some kind of unique game. But again, in very good condition. Little choo-choo trains. And I would think even if you didn't play the game, this case would be good for something. <laughs> it's shiny. Like really nice case. Very heavy. With all the dominoes in it. Nice little latch. There's the little train. Hinges. Excellent shape. So Susie, if and someone this, from our video wants to buy it from you, then how do they? Any, what I was going to say in the end was, is anything that you see here, if you have questions, um, you want to find out a little bit more, I'm going to have my email address in the description. So that's how you can get a hold of me. And um, this here actually sells, I'm selling it for $12. worth it alone just for the case <laughs> right that's a good price okay there what I go again I out of the camera <laughs> okay I have a pair of boots uh, for kids these are UGG Australia Oops. winter boots uh, they are called uh, the model is called Larine and you see this uh, the charm or the tassel here with the UGG on it. It's suede and in good condition. It, it does have a little bit of uh, uh, wear here in the front, but other than that, it's in very good condition, both of them. And it has this uh, fur lining on the inside four four and it is a US size three so size three youth little bit of wear there on the toes but other than that it is in good condition these um, these I purchased a long time back actually and uh, they I think they were five dollars I don't remember exactly uh, but shoes mostly I purchased for around three to five dollars and uh, so they uh, I have listed them in the uh, in my store in my eBay and Poshmark store and um, these have gone anywhere between uh, 30 and 40 dollars so I think I have listed mine for 30 dollars I may have to check it but it is in both my stores Ugg boots for kids. Okay. It's a big footed kid. <laughs> <laughs> three, size three. It says size three. Oh. Yeah. Maybe it's a maybe for European like size or something. Uh, no, it says US size. Uh, let me see. Okay. US Sorry. Size, US size three and then let me see if I can see what European size it is. European size 33 and UK size 2. It's about right. USA size 3. Very nice boots. Yeah. I like the tassels with the little charms. Yeah. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> Just in time for winter. Definitely. And those look comfortable. <laughs> All right, so this isn't exactly a game, but this will help you play cards. 
very old box again from the same woman who used to use these when she was a kid and play cards I'm not sure if she played canasta that's a pretty um, involved game if I remember um, this is actually an easy grip playing card holder and it's the deluxe set there's four of them in here so there's many games that you play cards you know like that you have to hold them all the time like pinochle and bridge and rummy and so forth like that you can see the box is very old i couldn't really find a date on it but i guess if we count back uh, her being 80 and being a child this is pretty old <laughs> So inside are the little holders that are kind of cute. Easy grip holders. Let me see if I could do this without. Easy grip card holder. They stretch so that you can put the hand of your cards in. You just open it up and it will keep, of course the card's not gonna be flimsy like a piece of paper, but it will hold your cards up just like picture shows. So it makes it a little bit easier. So there's four in here, different colors, and the elasticity in them is still perfect. It's like a mm. little spring, actually. I don't know if you can see the spring in there. Four different colors. Might be fun or just even great to collect. And like I said, age-wise, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to settle these for $12 as well. I did find some of these on the internet, and they were growing. Uh, gr they weren't growing, but they were going <laughs> <laughs> for around the same price. Okay. Box is still in great shape, too. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. This is a very nice Afghan. So it's hand crocheted with these beautiful colors. It's a short one. So in this zigzag pattern, nice fall colors, orange and yellow I was just thinking that <laughs> and then a different orange there's something stuck here but in good condition and it is about maybe let me see I think it is about four feet four feet by four feet it's a square could be yeah four feet by three feet I think so this I haven't listed in my store yet and I still have the tag hanging on it so it says it's $3.99. I purchased it for $3.99 and these uh, go on eBay for anywhere between $25 to $30, uh, tw sorry $22 to $30. So somewhere uh, in that range I'll be listing that. Very nice, clean, no odor, nothing, uh, nice and clean good for the fall i need to start making those again yeah <laughs> handmade yeah. very nice <laughs> okay so the next thing i got are some shower hooks and they're pretty cool still in very good condition not ruined from the water and from being in the shower so not sure if they were used or not this was taken out of a house recently cleaned and they look like little faucets that say hot mm. and cold this one says hot can you see the lights reflecting on it sorry but there you go so you can see the cold one and other things are reflecting in it because it's so shiny so they look like little faucets hooks there's probably a full set for every hole in the shower curtain here because there is quite a bit. I did find it in this bag. I didn't find it in the original box. So I'm not quite sure if it is the whole thing. I didn't count. So if somebody wants to know and they're interested in them, I actually used to have a set of these um, in a house that I lived in and I love them. They dress up the shower curtain really nice. And I will be selling these for $10. 
normally there are what 12 in a set I don't know I didn't count them mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe I'll run into the bathroom while we're doing this <laughs> there's two three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so twelve mm -hmm. may be um, the amount that's on a shower curtain but if I can get there you go that's a little bit better and they are definitely really shiny. No nicks, scratches, or anything. Good little set. They go for a little bit more in the store. I nice figured great. since they were in very good condition, they were worth about $12. Mm -hmm. I think I paid over 20 for the ones I had. And they weren't as nice as these. These look like they're in very good condition. Yeah. Okay, I have another dress. So this dress, it's a beautiful dress from Zara. I'm going out of the camera. <laughs> we'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Look>. backwards. <laughs> I mean, Your fingers are I don't okay. know where I'm going. <laughs> So this is a Zara Woman. Let me bring it closer so you can see it. Zara Woman, and it uh, it's is okay. Uh, it's in a U.S. size small, and uh, okay. So the story behind this one. Okay, no story actually, but I just wanted to say that this one is uh, one of the ones that was seen on. Prince William's wife that is the Duchess of Cambridge so she wore this and not this one I mean one like this and uh, so it has this ruching in the front and uh, it also has this ruching in the back with this beautiful bow, bow ties and then it is it's a midi dress it's uh, a line and it has this nice uh, ruffle on the top and this can be worn as a off shoulder or on shoulder so both ways it can be worn and then it has this full buttons in the front full button front and the uh, the fabric tag has been removed uh, but I checked it on uh, online the fabric is 75% cotton and 25% uh, linen. So very beautiful dress in stripes. It has these stripes, if you can see them. Nautical, like a nautical pattern. And then again, this beautiful bow. And it is in good condition, no uh, stains, nothing, very nice condition. Uh, now this one is, uh, I saw this one uh, is on sale on Poshmark for $89. So I will be listing it somewhere around maybe in the 50s or 60s. Sarah Bowman. Good deal. Yeah, that was a good deal. Okay, so we're still in the toy mode, but not so much vintage. We're going to skip around a little and go in space. <laughs> so this is called Micro Machines. It's a space toy. It's, I believe it's a Star Trek toy. Yes, it is. I should know that. I used to be a Trekkie, but I'm not real familiar with this toy. Um, original scale miniatures. Star Trek Generations, Enterprise, Saucer Model, and they do detach. Um, they do have special display stands in there um, of the U.S. Enterprise, uh, the Klingon, and the Bird of Prey to boldly go where no man has gone. So these go for about 20 or so that I see. Um, this, I'm not sure exactly where I got this one. 
probably out of somebody's garage. Still in the original casing. Gives you all the information there about the ones. Those are the ones that are in here. And there is a whole set of collections that you can get. And as you can see, if you are a collector, it's always best to have it in the original box. But like I said, if you do want to display them, there are display pieces in there that you can stand them on. And I'm selling this for $10. Okay. Toys, all kinds of toys today. <laughs> toys and your clothes. Yeah, toys, clothes, and then one shoe. Okay, my next item is something to do with maybe again Halloween or fall or uh, harvest. So this is, I got him upside down. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, like, a, what do we say? Maybe like a candy dish or like a soup dish with a lid. Uh, it's it looks like new and very nice condition there's no cracks or chips uh, the only thing is some of this uh, either the glaze or the color it has trickled inside a little bit maybe if we can it's too bright here to see but there is a little bit of trickling of the colors inside here if we move this a little bit Maybe put it down oh, you can yeah, see the okay. true color as well right we have a little too much glare and we'll figure that out because we moved to a different spot yeah Ooh, we look spooky <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the lid the very nice beautiful lid cute it's an oval shape and it has these nice leaves okay so this is a pumpkin dish ceramic and it is I have listed it for I purchased it for two dollars and fifty cents at one of my thrift stores here in the locality and I have listed it for um, twenty one dollars that's a twenty one dollars plus shipping that is how much it is selling for and uh, the oval one is not available on eBay uh, most of the ones that I have seen they are uh, round uh, so this this one so that's the reason why I've listed it for $21 so let's see what happens one thing about the thrift stores around here is most of them are for charity churches missionaries yeah. all the little local ones so yeah. people will donate to those a lot more than the bigger ones like mm -hmm. Salvation Army or Goodwill therefore everything's free for them they have a little bit of overhead but mostly volunteers in the store and their money goes to missionaries so they don't really mark up their prices very high that's true that's very true and then when we purchase from them it's like we are also donating towards their cause mm -hmm. um, I mean not an exact donation but we are helping them by buying from them by purchasing from them from the small businesses around so I do uh, do like to shop around uh, the local thrift stores uh, rather than uh, Goodwill and uh, some of the Goodwill prices are very high especially if you're going to go into uh, reselling uh, but the local thrift stores they are quite affordable and uh, like I said we can help their missions exactly it's even less than wholesale prices all right yeah <laughs> Alrighty, so I think I am on the page of describing that from the previous video that we missed it. So I have to get back to where I was and I think this is, nope, not my last item, but um, a pretty, a much different item than what I've been showing. I've got this GPS navigator. It is Michelin GPS Navigation X93. And it has the mount that you can put it on your dashboard. This is the little screen. And this has never been used. There's the mount. I'll put that down right now. This goes on your car to hold it. You can see the brand name on there. 
The model number is the 930. It's got the holder, little piece. There you go, to hold it in. Also comes with, I have this open, so it's not, all the cords, still not opened yet. And um, this is to plug in, I believe, to your cigarette lighter. Yes. Uh, there's not many cigarette lighters in cars these days, so if you have one, um, you can use this. But if you don't, there's also some kind of adapters that you can get that I think will go into the UPS. Uh, not UPS. What do you call that? USB. USB. <laughs> <laughs> All these letters. <laughs> So, it's also got manuals, you know, a little quick start to start it up. Glare. Sorry about the glare. Uh, even the book hasn't even been opened. This is still taped shut. So, this is all very new. Tells you people that have used this before. What I found interesting, it says the Global Positioning System, GPS, is a satellite-based system operated by the government of the United States of America, which is safely responsible for its availability and accuracy and maintenance. So that was kind of cool. I didn't really know that about GPSs. Um, and then there's a power cord that goes with it as well. Um, a few of the things I wrote about it, it has a bypass function so that if you're in traffic, It'll help you bypass the traffic so that you don't have to sit in it, which is kind of the same thing as a app on your phone Waze does. Um, it has a full-size touch screen. This is touch screen. And you can also text it. I think it said uh, voice and text. So it'll mm -hmm. do either. Um, it's for your car. I suppose you can use it for anything else if you wanted to. It's easy to use, it's fast, it takes a lithium ion battery, and it has a lot of preloaded maps on it. So, um, it's got very high ratings actually on Amazon, and it sells for about $300. Ooh. So, I was thinking maybe I'll sell it for 198 which is what I saw it selling for used. Um, but, I may go down to 150 didn't cost me a dime. I can save you some money if you're still interested or who knows, you may use the app on your phone, which, but this may be a lot easier, a little bit more involved, and it doesn't take long to learn it either because you've got your little books and quick startups. So there you go. So this is brand new, right? I don't know how old it is. I'm not sure when it actually came out. I didn't look that part up, but it has never been used. Right. Still in the box, still in the plastic, never even taken out of the plastic mm -hmm. except for just now. Right. Just now I took it out. Um, the woman who I got it from, there's one lady, I've been helping her clean out her <clears throat> storage units through the pandemic and her garage. And um, she's got a lot of nice things, a lot of very nice things, a lot of things that were never used before. So they're kept in very good condition. And um, nothing, I, I haven't turned it on. I don't think I have a battery in it. There's no battery in it because well, there could be if it's the lithium battery, it might come with it. So if somebody's interested in it, I can test it. And uh, I'm sure it works. It was in one of those um, temperature controlled storage units, so it hasn't affected the electronics. It does say um, the operation and storage temperatures, and the unit definitely met that. And since then, it's been in my house, not in anything hot in the air conditioning. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I think now it's my last item that I want to show. And then Susie, you want to uh, say a little about some of the things that were shown last in the last video? Um, Are you planning to tell them a little more about you that? you have some more to show too? I think I have one more. Uh, 
Was this your last item? I have one more. One more. Okay. So we have one more each, and then after that, uh, let's see. Maybe Susie wants to talk about some about the items last time. Okay. So the item I have now is a figurine of a, a Victorian lady. Mm. Mm. Don't look. I want to buy it. Gla <laughs> it's glaring, but it's it's a little heavy. It's about uh, it's a little over four pounds. But so this chair is all in good shape. No cracks, no chips. I'm trying to get it in the camera so that it doesn't glare. Okay, this is better. This is better. Okay, so this... We're a little dark, but I'm going to brighten this light a yeah, little bit. Yeah, okay, so that that's better. So, just see how pretty she is. That's a pretty face. And very elegant. We should have done this way the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, she is 12 inches tall and it is from the Giovanni collection I wish I can get this turn it there we go. Oh, tilt it down that it? way okay there, there it is Giovanni collections uh, these are based in uh, San Diego California and uh, they are uh, they collect these uh, antique items from all over the world, like from Asia, Africa, uh, all over the United States, and uh, also from Europe. And uh, this, uh, uh, they have uh, different collections of fine art paintings, uh, these statues, and uh, also some war items, and uh, even furniture, which is made in um, fine timber. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the Giovanni collection figurines they go for a high amount and uh, a high meaning like around the hundred dollar range so there was one of these not exactly this one uh, but there there were similar uh, figurines uh, women's figurines that went for uh, on eBay um, the last one that sold was uh, $98 plus and uh, there was another one which sold for about $94 so I have priced this one because the, I, I tried to look on uh, online and I didn't find this particular uh, lady figurine anywhere in their collection so I have listed it for $110 uh, currently on eBay Giovanni collections it's resin very heavy and in perfect shape there's no chips there is some uh, blemishes here on the wood pedestal uh, that is because of its age and storage but no chips and cracks on the statue as such okay. and 12 inches tall very beautiful mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got one last game, but I actually did kind of want to say something about one thing that I had last week um, about these bowls that I had, these Ellinger um, Agitized Bowls. And the only reason I want to say that is because, you know, I gave a price and it might have seemed high, but they do sell for $27 a bowl. And they are made from, they're American made since the 1950s with natural wood power and resins using um, compression moldings to make them so they're durable, waterproof, lightweight, dishwasher safe, and uh, hot and cold foods can be, and they don't um, crack or chip or warp. Might get a little scratch from silverware or something like that, but it's wood. So they sold for like, $27 a bowl and I can't remember what I said I would sell them for last week but watch the previous video and you'll know <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be real quick with this one because I took up time with that one and this is another toy my friend played with this one too when she was a kid it's got a checkerboard it's old you can see you know like the wood is can you see 
kind of little tiny scratches and blemishes all over it, but still very sturdy. And the cute thing about this is, see if I can figure it out, it's magic, it slides off. <laughs> and on the other side is a backgammon game board. Game board! <laughs> so you can play either one. It's good for travel. It's also got dominoes in it. Some more dominoes. Little tiny wood dominoes. They're so cute. Um, you get little chess pieces in here. These are kind of hard to fit in back in here, but that's good because they stay. You got little checker pieces. They're made out of wood as well. Let me see if I can take them out. And they're, they, these might be the original things they came in. I'm not really sure. Maybe mom put them in there. They're tiny little checkers. Mm. They look like pills. <laughs> And um, I do believe that all of them should be in here. I can check that. There's tiny little dice in there. I think you can see the tiny little dice piece. Mm -hmm. And a whole chess set, too. So you get all the chess pieces in here for a good game of chess while you're on the road. Good little solid traveling. It's got an extra piece of wood in it. I'm not sure what that's about. Unless, you know, I don't know. You can figure it out. Maybe it's something extra here but it doesn't fit so it's a little piece of wood that, you know the dominoes are stored right there all your little game pieces get stored in here put this back in and this just slides right in you can have the domino board on top or the checkerboard on top I actually like the checkerboard better because I like checks so these are basically two games in one box? Three. Three. Okay. You've got chess, checkers, mm -hmm. domino, and maybe if you play dice, mm -hmm. uh, that could be considered another game. Mm -hmm. And this was, again, one of the ones that the woman played with when she was younger. And I saw this online for like $60, $70, mm -hmm. um, being that it's antique and everything. So I'm selling it for 50 so one of the things I want to say is, you know, I've been on eBay before. 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I've been on eBay before. And I know it's changed a lot. I tried to do it again. I, it's changed even more. It gets more involved. But I may be going back to eBay and listing these in a store. But I do sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so if you do a search for those item, these items by words that I used... Um, you'll be able to find them because these descriptions are what are gonna what are going to go on to Facebook marketplace So I'm not sure which one of us is supposed to close But we definitely <laughs> are supposed to tell you to hit those buttons <laughs> Hit like share comment subscribe and hit that notification bell tell all your friends share 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 Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us and uh, tolerating us. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for, uh, you know, uh, looking at our items. If you like any of them, I have mine in my eBay and Poshmark store. Uh, the description of my store is given in the description box below. Uh, the links, sorry, the links to my stores are given in the description box below. And uh, also Susie's. Uh, email address will be given below if, sh if you want to purchase any of her items and uh, we will try and make more videos uh, we'll try to be better with each uh, video today we had this uh, different camera than the one that we used last time and we were a little going out of the view uh, but we'll try to be better uh, next time <laughs> so thank you very much again this is Heather from Grey Steels 19 and Susie, Susie from Susie Sales. Thank you and have a wonderful day.